coming back lately and so basically it is that's what my mom said hey guys it's Chloe I know I haven't really posted in a while but I hope this video makes up for it before we get into this video I wanted to call y'all out all the people who commented on the Apple Salts react to Jude Perfect saying that I can't dab I can dab <sighs> okay maybe I can't but oh well so this video is going to be a long awaited DIY, aka do it yourself. You should kind of probably want to know what we're doing for this DIY. So this is the wooden picture transfer. I know it's, it was kind of popular in like the 70s or something, but it's coming back lately. And so basically, it is what my mom said. Okay, so I would like to apologize if the sound is a little iffy because it's sort of raining, but we had nowhere else to film. So the things that you will need are gloss medium, go to one side or the other. All right, so your picture should look like this right now. And what you wanna do is just leave it sit overnight. At the very least, eight hours would probably be sufficient. Um, but yeah, that's it for now. Okay, so we have one that we pre-made and I'm gonna show you the next steps after you've already let it sit overnight. What's the next step? Okay, so the next thing that you need is a wet towel and a dry towel. Um, and the next thing that you're gonna do is you have, this is already resting overnight, and you're gonna take your wet towel and lay it over top of the picture. And you can kind of pat it a little bit so that it goes through. And then you wanna leave it sit there for like a minute or so. should be able to see your picture through by now. Okay, so the next thing you wanna do is take your paper towel and fold it kind of like this and then just lightly or gentle, gently just sort of scrape off the paper. But you don't wanna do it too hard. Right now you should have enough where you can kind of just do it with your fingers and just sort of rub it off like so. you know how much more you have to rub off. Okay, so now your picture looks kind of like vintage and uh, you've gotten most of the white stuff off of it. So next you're gonna take your Mod Podge and pour about half of what you put uh, of the gloss finish on top of it. But 
But next you just want to brush it on top. So here's a little sneak peek at what it looks like now. And then for the final step, you just put it in front of a fan for about 20 minutes. Here's a couple of examples of ones that we've done. Here's one. Uh, here's an example of, uh, you wanna make sure you get all the white stuff off so that it doesn't end up with those little white spots like that. Here's another example. Um, and if you look closely, uh, some of his head got cut off, uh, scraped off, so just make sure you don't scrape too hard because then you go right through the picture. Here's a really cute fan pick. Um, and this one's really good, except for Carlton's eyes got scratched out, but for the most part, this is really good. Kind of rustic looking, really nice. This is a good one for a cute beach house. And all of these you can use for your room, for anything. Here's me and Carlton. It's a really good one. Um, and you can use these for your room. You can use them to decorate weddings or events, anything like that. And they're really fun and cool things to keep. Okay, so that was it for the wooden picture transfer DIY. It was my first DIY, but if you liked it and want to see more DIYs, comment down below any ideas that you have because I definitely read your comments. So, um, except for the ones that say that I can't dab because, yeah. Okay, so give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to go subscribe and bye. That was cool. Uh, this is wood. Start again. Okay, what's it called? I don't know what's called. Ah! And make sure it's not raining when you're filming a DIY video. Probably would probably eight hours would probably be sus at the very least eight hours. <laughs> so we go to sleep overnight. Wait eight hours. Hey. How's it going? And if you want to see more DIYs, give it a thumbs. You have white stuff in your hair.